see you peach slices. Good light actually just came to Elda. This kind of looks like Paula's Choice BHJ, but alcohol free. Hyaluronic acid squalane facial toner mist. Oh my God, this looks so good. Fun fact, pigeons have 37 taste buds, <laughs> while humans and mammals have 10,000, which is why pigeons will eat anything you give them. Ding! <laughs> Hello, guys. So we are in Herald Square. It's about a thousand degrees today, and today we're gonna go shopping for skincare at Ulta because why not? <laughs> because why not? No, actually, Ulta has a bunch of like different brands and products that aren't sold like at Sephora or like other places, and so I thought it'd be interesting to go in there because I feel like it's highly underrated. And um, let's just go into the AC because I'm about to perish. <laughs> let's go. Wait. Not sponsored. Let us start on this side. Okay, this is all makeup, which maybe we can do later, but not today. Love this one. Hi, Ari. Ooh, we see you peach slices. Okay, I'm gonna get one of these. Get one of these. Bling. Ooh, the snail rescue. Get one of these. Ooh, they have azelaic acid. Have to try this. Oh my gosh, okay, wait. This kind of looks like Paula's Choice BHJ, but alcohol free. Strange sighting. Stranger Things. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so Good Light actually just came to Elda. Ooh, have not tried this bomb. Yoink. Should we try a pimple patch? Eight fifty for twenty-four. Do you have a pimple? I don't have a pimple. Let's put you back. <gasps> and another brand we love. Okay, so we've talked about these ones, but I saw they have some new stuff. Where is it? Ah, this one. I wanted to try this one out. It's a BHA clarifying gel cream. Perfect. Oh my god, this retinol cream is only eight bucks. Gentle retinol cream. Should we try this? The basket says yes. Okay, moving over. I am very excited for this. I've tried a few of the Beekman ones, but today we're gonna pick this one up. Bling! And then it suggested that you actually mix a few of these BHA resurfacing serum into that cream and bloop. Okay, wait. Someone in the live yesterday said we have to try a, it's like a spray. <gasps> oh my God, look at this. Hyaluronic Acid Squalane Facial Toner Mist. Oh my god, this looks so good. Sunscreen and makeup primer. Blink. Boop. <gasps> and we found the mama brand, Peach and Lily. Peach and Lily is available at Ulta. This is my favorite cleanser. And Ro and I love this veil mist. It is so good. This is so good. I mean, like, everything is freaking good. Let's be real. So apparently, one of the people who worked at Ulta said like this, Kopari Ultra Restore Body Butter. She just recommended it. So we shall be getting it. <laughs> influenced, hashtag. I mean, it's hashtag influenced. But also, we're seeing these brands that we haven't seen in so long. Osea, Indie Lee, clearly it's selling well, lol, it's like empty. Okay, so we're in the hair part, and like this is my favorite shampoo from the Kristen S line. And whoa, they have a huge one! It's like they knew. And how much is it? 28, and this one is 13. It like truly is clarifying, and it smells so good, guys. Like it is so aesthetic. Nah. Oh, thank you. 
So this is everything that we are going to use for the next week or so. Okay guys, so it has been a while, so I'm gonna sit back and give you the rundown and my thoughts on all the products that we got at Ulta. Let's start off with these two babies. It's from Good Molecules. I picked up their BHA Clarified Gel Cream and the Gentle Retinol Cream. So let's start with this one. Today we're going in with BHA Clarify Gel Cream. I'm really excited to see what the texture is. So it comes in this tube. Ooh, looks promising. I love the look of this texture so far. Guys, this is good. It's got a blend of the salicylic acid with green tea, Centella Asiatica, and it's also got grapeseed oil as well as pomegranate, which is like a really light and natural exfoliating ingredient. So all together, this just hit the spot. The gel is delicious. But what is that smell? Well, we all know Good Molecules is known for like, you know, no fragrance and cutting out any kind of unnecessary ingredients. So you get what you get, you know? Using this would really help with, if you're facing blackheads, whiteheads and things like that. Nothing too crazy, but you just want a daily kind of maintenance of it. It's even got green tea seed oil, bisabolo, which is from chamomile, so it's very calming. Licorice root extract, so it's brightening. It's even got the vinifera. You know, when we were doing the quarterly, it's the grapeseed oil. Oh my god, this is beautiful. What? And I think this was only like ten dollars or something what in the world do you see how nice of a finish it gives it's like hydrated it's nourished but it's not thick you can use this am pm i used it in both i didn't experience any sort of like irritation and for ten dollars i really don't think you can go wrong but it is like a smaller tube compared to you know your other kind of more substantial moisturizers. Love it, like absolutely love it. <laughs> Me again, another night. So we're gonna try this one. Next is the Gentle Retinol Cream. So this one has 0.1% of the retinol. If you want the effects of really glowy resurfaced skin, or if you wanna use retinol for helping manage breakouts and acne, 0.1% is really good for that without any of that scary drying kind of effect. It's also got bacuchiol, willow bark extract, green tea leaf extract, grapeseed oil, and the vinifera. Something about their consistencies are just so beautiful. And it's in between like a cream and a gel consistency. It's not as transparent as the gel of this one. Ooh, so this is a much more kind of luxurious cream consistency. Lightweight, very blendable, not oily. So the thing I've come to realize about Good Molecules is their formulations for these creams, which I've never tried before because I've only ever used their serums, is that it's a beautiful non-greasy formulation. I feel like this is the perfect product if you're looking into starting a retinol because I feel like this is really safe for sensitive skin as well. I even used this during the day with a sunscreen and there was no sensitivities or irritation that came up. I would suggest if you are starting out, just use it like two or three times, build up your skin's familiarity with it and then you're good to go. Moving on, let's go to the Beekman product. This was one of the lines that I was 
more excited to try. And so Leekman really centers all their skincare products and formulations around the goat milk ingredient. And you might be thinking like, what goat milk? But honestly, if you have sensitive skin, if you have rosacea, if you have any sort of inflammation, you really want to protect your skin barrier and that's what goat milk can really do. So it's nothing like off-putting or anything like that because, you know, if you think about milk, that's lactic acid, right? So you're getting these kind of natural exfoliating properties Properties and also like prebiotics and probiotics of the goat milk. Let me just sh tell you my standout picks. I love this toner. Oh my god. It is beautiful. You get so much of it. It's 8.1 fluid ounces or 240 mils. It is lightweight, it is hydrating, but it gives you just enough of that oil layer where you feel like it's, um, there's something on your skin. Look at that. Oh my God. I'm very excited for this one. Ooh, this mist is fantastic. Let's break down these two layers, right? It is a biphase toning mist. You can also use it after your makeup or whatever it is just to hydrate throughout the day. So this top layer is a mixture of plant squalane and it's also got jojoba oil. So jojoba oil is great for all skin tones. It's non-comedogenic. It works great on even oily skin because it mimics your skin's natural sebum. And then down here is what Beekman is really known for. It's their goat milk prebiotic and probiotic, which is really helping to strengthen your skin barrier. And then there's also hyaluronic acid and mugwort. This actually really reminds me of the Biosance Squalane and Hyaluronic Acid Toning Mist. They're essentially the same ingredients, which is why I think it actually feels very similar, but you just get way more with this one. This is a little bit more barrier friendly with the milk proteins and the goat milk prebiotic and probiotic. So I feel like this is quite different. And the spray is like, it really is a fine mist. I found myself reaching for it throughout the time in between that we were testing this out. And I think that's always a good sign, right? Moving on to the one that I highly recommend you guys try as well. It's the Milk Wash Exfoliating Jelly Cleanser. Like, oh my God, guys, this milk wash. Actually, all their products come in this little, like, cloth. Guys, I'm actually the most excited about this cleanser because it just sounds phenomenal. Exfoliating jelly cleanser, but it's a milk wash. Like, what? They are my favorite describing words for a facial cleanser. So, let's see. My face has a bunch of disgusting oils all over it. So it comes out like this really squiggly jelly formula. And then once you emulsify it, it turns into the silkiest milk. Ooh. Wait, I was like expecting it to be milky, but it's actually a gel. <gasps> okay, so it starts off like a gel. So it goes on translucent, turns into a milk, and is so lightweight and is so barely there as a cleanser that you're like, oh my God. And then when you wash it off, you get this like layer of just nourishment. It's not greasy, it doesn't leave behind any feeling, but your skin is actually feeling moisturized. Wow, that feels really nice. It's also got the ingredients of AHA and BHA in there to just do just enough every day or however you're using this to shed and dissolve, you know, dead skin, grime, dirt that's stuck in the pores, and also just helping to even out your skin tone overall. So if you're looking for a really gentle cleanse that's actually leaving your skin feeling nourished and prepped, like holy cow, but also has chemical exfoliants, most milky cleansers that I have found 
don't incorporate chemical exfoliants to help with that daily rejuvenation and skin maintenance. But this has it all in the most lightweight formula. So like, I would highly recommend trying this if you like very, very gentle, lightweight cleansers. So moving on then to the Bloom Cream and the Smooth Booster Willow Bark BHA Resurfacing Serum. Right? I would say this is a skin barrier strengthening cream because it has the goat milk probiotic that's already doing the most for your skin barrier, but it's also got soothing and calming ingredients like chamomile, blue thistle, aloe vera, and cucumber. So it's actually like quite a lightweight cream and it spreads really beautifully over the skin and it's bloom because it's got one of these cool dispensers oh, yeah, just like that it's kind of like the drunk elephant philosophy where you can mix in any type of active ingredient serum you want into the middle there and then you just take all of that and then I like to just like work it into my palm and then apply onto my skin. And I feel like when I mix it together like this, it gives the moisturizer an even more silky application. The consistency is really nice. The thing is, it is $54. So that is to me a little steep for a moisturizer, but it is so nice. If you have dry skin, dry combination, or dehydrated, I feel like these products are so good for dehydrated skin. And this one would be good for people who want to use BHA, who want the effects of BHA, but for whatever reason can't tolerate it, um, because this is an alternative to BHA, the willow bark. And it's just so cute, it's like this little, like short thingy oh my god it's so cute so then moving on to this one this is the beekman milk primer spf 35 sunscreen primer so the last of the beekman is actually this milk primer it has an spf 35 so it's a sunscreen primer so i assume that you use it after your moisturizer or maybe you could even use it in place of your moisturizer this is the first time i'm trying it out so we'll take it out of its little pouch and anything that can help streamline the routine i am down for that's why when we were at the store i was actually really excited to pick this one up Ooh, wait i didn't know it had little balls in there that always makes shaking things so much more satisfying. Ooh, ooh. Oh my God, it's so watery. Oh my God, can you see this? It's like, oh my God, it's like literally like water. Oh my goodness. So this is after I moisturized. Oh my God. This is so lightweight. What? Okay, let's put a second layer on. Now I know why it's a sunscreen primer because it literally gives your skin the best canvas, the best prep to do anything afterwards. So it is zinc oxide, so it should have a little bit of that whitish brightened effect, but do you see that when I blend it in? It actually just looks more glowing. But I will say for as lightweight as it is and watery as it is, it is still quite like oily feeling, but it's very glowy and it's not thick. So it's actually very like moisturizing. I want to show you though, this is how it looks like outside the bathroom light it actually gives your skin after it all settles in there like at first it was a little bit greasy but then i worked it in and it actually gives you such a nice glowy finish and it's not sticky it's like really surprising actually because i came out and i'm like wait a second 
my skin actually looks great. I don't know guys, I have to keep using this <laughs> and then I shall give you updates. For me, it was probably too shiny to use on its own, although there were days that I would just use this when I was testing it out to see how it would work if I didn't set it, if I didn't use anything afterwards. It's still nice, but I just sweat a lot and I'm quite oily in the summer, and so it was a little bit too much for me if I didn't set it down, but when I used it with any sort of concealer, CC cream, powder on top, it was beautiful. All right, so those are the Beekman products. Thoroughly enjoyed that. So then the Chanel number no. one, De Chanel. <laughs> so this is their serum in mist. Didn't even know they had a Camellia line. Okay, so just showered. My face is so dehydrated right now because it is waiting to try this. Okay, this is her. Okay, I know $95 is pretty steep for a serum, but actually serums are where the money's at. You know what I mean? It does look like there is like a layer of oil. So it is a bi-phase, so you've got to shake it up. The camellia flower I associate with a lot of Japanese products, especially Tatcha because they also use camellia. You know, the cleansing oil is completely camellia. So I'm gonna put another layer of this. The first one was already really actually nourishing. It wasn't just hydrating like a mist toner. You can feel there's a little bit of that oily moisturizing quality to it. So it does feel more like a serum rather than a toner. So I will give it that. But if I took away Chanel and looked at this as just a skincare product, I really enjoyed it. You can't help but compare something like a biphase oil like this and this, right? But it leaves a completely different finish. Like this is definitely a, a toning mist. First and foremost, a toner mist but this after you apply it especially after you apply two layers which i did it like leaves this beautiful hydrated but not moisturized but like velvety nourished feeling because if you look at the ingredients it's got camellia flower water as the water and then it's got glycerin which is a really great humectant so it's very hydrating for all skin types it's also got jojoba seed oil camellia seed oil camellia flower extract green tea leaf extract a little bit of fragrance adenosine and sunflower seed oil so it's actually quite a simple ingredient list and it's like just enough aroma of that camellia floral scent that's not too obnoxious which I'm very like impressed at because it was the other products that were a little bit more highly scented but if I could pick one more product out of the line it would be their lotion there was this like lotion that was nice and watery but it like left the skin feeling so nice so I would say like if you want to splurge on something and try something new and have something just fun and luxurious maybe for yourself or as a gift um, for a person who is really into skincare and loves it, I would say this is actually pretty good. So then moving on to Good Light. I picked up the New Moon Balm. So at first I was like kind of confused about this New Moon Balm. I was like, is it a lip balm? No. So it says... It helps with the aftermath of a newly patched or popped pimple. Okay. Hmm, it's actually quite light. When they say balm, I would feel like maybe it's heavy, but it's got that like, um, not as oily as a Vaseline, but that kind of texture, which really helps with trapping hydration. So I can see why this is called a balm. And so I can use this on my lips, right? Yeah, it's like panthenol, glycerin, hyaluronic acid, allantoin. So you could really just use this all over the face. There's no reason why this isn't just like your moisturizer. Even after 
after using it, I was a little bit confused because normally I would use like a Cosrx, you know, the blemish balm to put over. It's like thicker. It's really kind of calming down that inflammation. It's balmy and thick, which I feel like it's doing something. Or I use this Hero Rescue Balm. This is the Post Blemish Recovery Cream. So that is the Hero one, and this is the Good Light one. I just didn't feel like the Good Light was really doing much except for moisturizing that area to make sure it's not flaky. I would say if you use, you know, those, uh, what do you call them? The calamine powders, they tend to dry out the skin. So to me, it's like just a concentrated like moisturizer and it's only $12, but yeah, I'm kind of unsure about where this sits. Now let's go on to the peach and lily picks. So we have the Acne Exfoliating Toner, we have the Snail Rescue Blemish Busting Toner, and we have the Redness Relief. Okay, let's start with this because holy crap, I need to get this entire line. Like I saw they had a moisturizer, they might have a toner as well. It's the Redness Relief in this green packaging. Oh my God, it just got me very excited. Advanced treatment to visibly reduce redness. So. I mainly have redness here, like you can see the veins. I also have redness and irritation around my post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. And I also get red on the forehead if I have any sort of rash. Like I always see it on the forehead and I just kind of overcame a rash on the forehead. So this has 10% as a leg, so let's... The consistency is beautiful! Oh my god, it's like a gel dollop, but it's not just a gel, it's like kind of creamy, but it's not cream, it's like glistening as well, but it's not oily, it's lightweight. Oh my god, it's so good. Mm. So nice! <laughs> it's got 10% azelaic acid, which is proven to help with really calming down inflammation, redness, rosacea, any sort of irritation or like itchiness or anything like that. And it can just really restore your skin back to health. It's also got panthenol, it's got green algae, so it's like very hydrating as well. If I think about other azelaic acid, obviously I love the Paula's Choice 10% Booster. That one's also 10%. This one's also 10%. It's like $10 cheaper because this is $20. I believe the Paula's Choice is about 30, but that is my OG one. You know, I, I love it. And then there's the Naturium. They have the Azelaic Serum and they also have the Azelaic Emulsion. I really like the Emulsion as well. They're all kind of very similar. It's this like lightweight, creamy lotion consistency, but I would say formulation wise, this one applies beautifully. It gives you just enough kind of like radiance and I love it. Now moving on to these two, the Acne Exfoliating Toner and the Snail Rescue Serum. So I would actually say, if you're on the hunt for an alternative to the 2% Paula's Choice, this is it. Like, it's got 2% salicylic acid, right? And it's alcohol free, so it's great for sensitive skin. But what makes it different to the Paula's Choice is that it's also got a little bit of the AHA. So it's got glycolic acid as well as lactic acid, all working together with salicylic acid. So it's able to penetrate, you know, your pores, but also the surface layer as well, because it's oil and water soluble. I'm just gonna use it. How do you know that? So if you're looking for something to help with blackheads, whiteheads, hyperpigmentation, things like that, this is a really great option. And this can really help with balancing your T-zone and things like that as well. Or if you have, you know, comedones, little pustules, BHA toner can really help with that. And toning is my favorite step. It's like, you know, some people say you don't need it, but I would say you do. I feel like, yeah, maybe the Polish choice is a little bit more of that lingering nourishing effect, but this is like super nice, especially for oily skin. Like I barely feel anything, but it's like hydrated. Can you see? Oh my God, very nice. And you can use these together because this one is your treatment. How much is this? This is 10.99 guys. 
Now this one, Snail Rescue, I would say the texture is like that viscousy, almost serum-like, but not quite. Like you can feel it, it just like, it's got you. This one. This one is so hydrating, like wow. The Snail Mucin. And you know, with a lot of other snail mucin, it's very stringy. This one is not because it's formulated in the toner. So I would say if you have hyperpigmentation, if you're dehydrated or all of the above, and you're trying to get your skin back to normal after, you know, breakout, this is also a really great sensitive skin friendly toner that is really hydrating, like really, really hydrating. And then, I love having these around, like anyone can benefit from these pimple patches. I think out of the two, there's a hydrocolloid patch and there's also the micro darts. I prefer the micro darts from their brand because the hydrocolloid stickers were a little bit too thick for my liking. Like you can see them physically on my skin, especially if I'm like going out. I don't really care if people see pimple stickers, like whatever, but it was just like the sticker itself was a little bit thick thicker and a little bit like less flexible than other ones I've used. And then there's the Kopari Ultra Restore Body Butter. I'll show you in the B-roll what I thought of this. First of all, I'm really lazy with my body skin and I don't like anything that's too thick. I want it just to like melt away. So this is really interesting because I would say coconut is not my favorite scent. But this actually, when you apply it, smells like coconut, but then it actually develops more into the jasmine notes, which is beautiful. And it's actually very fast absorbing. It's kind of like a whipped pudding texture. So think, um, if you guys have ever tried the Peach and Lily Matcha Pudding Moisturizer, it's similar to that texture, a little bit more whipped. Not gonna show you my legs because I can't find my shaver. <laughs> yeah, it's like very workable, very spreadable. I've used maybe like the Cordelie one. I think that one's really good for winter because it's so deeply nourishing, but for the summer, this actually works really well. I would just say if you don't want to smell like like a tropical jasmine coconut um, like aroma, then you probably will think it's a little bit too much. But yeah, very nice. Oh my god, I'm like shining. So guys, that wraps up the Ulta haul. This was super fun to do. If you have recommendations on what you want me to try next, either at Ulta or any other store, Leave them all in the description and I'll use it to do the next episode. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed to our newsletter, we just came out with our August edition e-magazine, which has Ro and I's curated favorites of everything that we've loved over the month, as well as deep dives into skincare brands we really enjoy as well. So a lot of information there and you know, we're really proud of that. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you very soon. Hope you enjoyed.